when we as Christians are talking with Muslims, at some point a topic will come up that could cause offense. Now, if we're friends and we've had a, a friendship for a long time, you should be able to, true friends should be able to talk about all sorts of topics. Um, I certainly have found in all the years that I have uh, lived among and stayed with Muslim friends and shared life with Muslim friends, that I haven't lost any Muslim friends even when we touch upon tough topics. I recall a conversation when a Muslim friend said, Muhammad was the best husband. He's the best example of what a husband is. And I just went, have you read the biography of Muhammad? And then she goes, oh, well, no, the biography you're talking about is the Sunni biography. I am Shia. So I said, okay, have you read the Shia biographies? Because they still have stuff in there that's, uh, it's pretty gritty stuff. As a woman, I'm not sure you'd want your husband to really be getting up to half the things that Muhammad got up to. And we then talked for seven hours on the topic. We sat there in her lounge eating an amazing Iranian food, a Persian food, and we sat and talked for seven hours, um, starting with women in Islam, Muhammad, whether he was a role model or not, um, and then, of course, all the time comparing it to the Bible and what the Bible says. So where the Bible says that, um, for example, a man, um, if a man even treats his wife harshly, his prayers are hindered. In the Quran, it It allows in Surah 434 that a man can beat his wife until she obeys him. And so you have that sort of um, contrast between the two faces. Well, that could potentially be insulting or it could uh, cause offense. But what I do is I don't ever, uh, when I'm engaging with Muslim friends, I don't throw an, uh, something offensive at them. I will, though, ask questions and difficult questions about their texts. So it's the Quran I'm holding to account. I'm not giving them my opinion. I might sometimes read verses from the Quran. Say, look, I've been reading the Quran and I have a problem with this verse. As a Christian, I struggle with, look what it says about Jesus in Surah 4, 171. Look what it says in, in, about women and wives in Surah 4, 34 and many others in, that, in, in the surrounding verses. And in that point, you can then have conversations with Muslim friends. So you always take them back to the wonderful alternative that you find in Jesus. If you're in friendship and you're talking about our two faced you're going to come up with topics that could potentially cause offense. We do not need to be offensive people, but some of the topics we must sometimes address, especially if we care for our Muslim friends, they could potentially be offensive. So there are always going to be um, topics and, and things that we'll talk about that could cause an offense, but we do not need to be offensive people. We're kind, we're good, we're winsome, but we're convinced and we don't um, run away from hard topics if the Lord has prompted us to talk about them with Muslim friends.